Sonic State here at NAMM 2020. I'm with John at the Zoom booth. Now, Zoom have just announced this brand new super duper multi effects unit now. The, yep. The G11? That's right, yeah. This is our new guitar multi effects processor. Okay, so this has kind of got like a long heritage now of uh, big processors from Zoom. Um, what's the kind of, what's the, what's the headline news with this one? Uh, so what's really new with the G11 is the control that you have over your sounds and creating your patches and banks. Uh, it has a large touch screen, which you can use to navigate through the menus and select different views. And you can uh, very easily rearrange the way that uh, the home screen is set up so you can quickly access whatever you need to access personally. You can custom tailor everything to you. Uh, the touchscreen uses a lot of modern smartphone gestures, so it's very user-friendly, it's very intuitive. Um, and this will work with our Guitar Lab software, so it's very customizable. Okay, so something that instantly caught my eye, and uh, synthesizer manufacturers should take note. Look at these pots. They've got, these pots have got the kind of value of them actually inside them, rather than, we've seen LED rings before, but these have got the LEDs inside the pots. That's pretty funky, I think. <laughs> That's a new innovation. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty happy with how that is. So that whole section there is your amp panel, and at any point you'll be able to access all of your amp controls, which is pretty important with a lot of pedals. You might have to hit a foot switch, and now you can use the knobs to control your amp, but just like a real amplifier, you always have access to your volume control and your gain and your treble, etc. Okay, and something that we've seen in other Zoom uh, pedals before uh, is this idea of almost like individual stomp boxes, and uh, we can see this is carried over here. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and now new with this, uh, they're color-coded based on the effect type, so it makes it a lot easier to uh, visually tell what you're going to be hitting with your foot on stage at a glance, and uh, really what we focus on with the G11 is just making everything a lot easier to use and uh, we'll be rolling out some firmware updates once we get some feedback from other guitarists. We've had a lot of guitarists stopping by the booth here today and I've gotten a lot of good feedback on the G11 so uh, we're excited to be bringing it out there into the world. Wicked. So in, I mean in terms of like a DSP then, uh, is this uh, significantly more than previous models? Yeah, compared to the G5N, the predecessor to the G11, the DSP has been noticeably uh, expanded. Uh, it's higher DSP limit, um, and you can very easily see the DSP percentage for each effect that you're adding to your patch, so you can kind of monitor when you're getting near the limit, and uh, yeah, made that very easy for the user to see. And um, audio interface functionality, what does it appear as? Uh, so you can use this as a stereo audio interface, stereo in, stereo out, two in, two out. I uh, work with any DAW, also connects through USB to our Guitar Lab software, as I mentioned, to manage and organize all of your effects and patches. Does it run class compliant? Yes, it does. Okay. So um, in terms of like functionality, do we have like things like loopers, tuners? Oh, I can see there's a tuner there. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, there's a drum machine as well, a oh, looper. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, you can, one thing I didn't mention, semi-related maybe, uh, you can load impulse responses as well. It has uh, right. slots for 10 impulse responses that mm -hmm. you can load through a thumb drive through the back. And uh, the connection to the computer is a USB-C port. And I believe we've got a stereo effect send and return as well. That's right, yeah. You can use it as two mono out in send return uh, or stereo send return. Can you make them switchable so you can switch in the, uh, the, the, the sends? Yep, yeah. You can assign that send to a foot switch here. So you can use that for external effects to trigger them on and off. Okay, very cool. And uh, in terms of effects amount, how many how many effects have we got in here? Uh, so as it is now, and this may be subject to change, uh, over 140 effects, uh, 48 stock amps and cabinets, and three of those are new amps that are uh, 
they're kind of an amalgamation of several different amps. So the engineers took the uh, clipping frequency characteristics of a few different amps. For example, maybe the low end of a Fender with the mid-range of a Marshall, etc. And they kind of created these custom hybrid amplifiers, which we're really excited about. Oh, great. And in terms of uh, impulses, how many impulses can you hold in memory? So you can hold 10 as the firmware is now, but a lot of this is subject to change. Okay. Yeah. And um, bass, any support for bassists? Uh, as it is now, the effects that come with the G11 are voice for guitar. I'm not sure how that will go down the line, so more mm -hmm. information to come. Okay, because so, yeah. there's no bass amp models in there either. As it is now, no. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a bass man, you see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, excellent. All right, okay, so um, availability, I guess, has just been announced now. Do we know when they're going to be hitting the shops? Not yet, no, and price is also to be determined, yeah. Okay, yeah. watch this face. <laughs> okay, John, thanks so much for showing us. Yeah. Absolutely, Brilliant. my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.